Hi good people from all around the world. This is Nick from OVA Let's Plays and welcome back to Calamity Mod Rogue Revengeance. In the last episode we were stumped. I took on um, Duke Fishron. I took on freaking Ravenger. In the previous episode before that I took on the Plaguebringer Goliath. I could not beat either of the three of them. I figured if I could beat the Lunatic Cultist we would get the Ancient Manipulator and that might help get the upgrade to the uh, to the silencing sheath and the ruin medallion and um, and uh, I was stumped with the lunatic cultist but then I tried them running away with the plague nades and that worked oh chooka joke come here kitty come here buddy come here come on no all right what you doing buddy come on He's rubbing his face up against the chair. It looks like up. Oh, now he's gonna get up. Okay. All right, Jimmy. He's a good jokey joke. He is a good key. I love you too, buddy. I love you too. Yeah. We beat the lieutenant cultist, buddy. Yes, we did. Not the lieutenant cultist. That's. Oh, I love. Oh, I love you too, buddy. He is the best cat I've ever known, guys. He's got one eye because he has a micro eye. He had a micro eye, and um, but he is the most affectionate cat. So, so it's important, you know, to give pets with special needs a, a chance, you know, because they they can end up sometimes being the best pets. The gifted one that terminated my grand summoning so long ago with his uncanny powers over the arcane. Some, one I once held in such content for his actions now deceased. The silly ritual undone, prepare for the end your impending doom approach. Okay, Jack, go put you back on the on the ground, buddy. Dad's got daddy's recording. Alright. Alright. Back to it. So make sure we got the did I get the freaking... Where is it? Where is it? I should... I could have sworn I had it. Alright, I'm going to organize. Where? There it is. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Alright. Oh, that's right. I put this for the house. Right, so we got this now. I do not need this anymore. This extractinator. Nope. I am the extractinator. Listen to me. Why did I put it back down? Listen to me very carefully. Get down. Did I? Oh, there it is. All right. Yay. All right. But now we need to get meld blobs, which I think are from certain ones. I forget. I forget which now. Okay, do we fight the Pepto Bismol one or do we fight the hot sauce one? Which one shall we fight? We shall fight the hot sauce one and then we shall heal ourselves with Pepto Bismol. Yes. I am so freaking relieved I beat the Lieutenant Cultist guys. This is going to be great because once we can get the meld blobs, I should actually look up where the meld blobs come from real quick. I'll be right back. I shall return. So I thought it was enemies from a specific pillar, but it's in, it's from all of them really. So, so that's good. Not the Pepto Bismol Tower of Doom. This one is the toughest one, I think, especially when the Crawlipede shows up. Up oh, there's one right there. That's one of the ones we need and want and 
There we go. All right, the first mill blow. We got multiple ones actually. Solar fragment. Man, we're getting so many meld blobs from this. I think I lost the Ruin Medallion, though. Again. I don't know how I lost it twice, but I lost it again. I think we can craft rogue weapons with the meld, blo with the meld constructs, too, so that's going to help, too. And they drop fragments. That's awesome. That's a, that's a good improvement that Calamity Mod made. One of the many good improvements. Um, is that they drop the fragments too. So you don't have to freaking farm the event so much. Alright. Phantom Lance is the way to go for down here. Actually, not that bad because I can just attack and not have to worry about getting hit that much here. Only downside is you don't get to hurt as many of them as. There we go. Alrighty. Whoa, that shot up. That was that was cool. All right, guys. I did not beat the whole solar clip, the uh, solar tower. But I did manage to get enough for meld constructs. So we got 21. So we should be able. To, ooh, star of destruction. That's a, oh my! Look at that stealth strike damage, mother of God! Now that is one you would want to keep the build up your stealth for every time, mother of God! Holy! Oh man! So let's make the. <laughs> I was blown away by that. That's awesome. So let's make the. Uh, there we go, the Dark God Sheath. Oh man. Stealth generation while not attacking. Stealth strikes have a 100% critical str hit chance. Oh my god. That's an upgrade for. Even if you wear both of those together, I don't think the originals have that. No, the originals don't have that. So that's. that's Not only are they co combined effects, but it's expand on either, too. That is amazing. That is really amazing. Oh my god. Here we go, guys. Yes! Now we can either choose to wear the Abyssal Mirror with it, which would uh, self generate 30% faster while standing still and 20% faster while moving. That could help a lot. Um, now we have to decide okay, nope, not the Claymore. Not that either. It's either the Shard. Shards, stealth strikes leave homing stars in their wake. M look at the stealth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the star of destruction for now. And we're gonna test it out. And then we're gonna do the consumables um, later on once we farm some of the pillars more so we have more. Is this additive? Oh, this makes phantasmal ruin. Movement of Striker. Yeah, so that's a later on. That's a rogue weapon later on. My god. Look at the stealth strike on that. <laughs> Holy. That's, that's post Moon Lord, though. That's way post Moon Lord. So we'll keep those. We'll keep them. Uh, we'll put them up here. Watch this be where the Moon Dying was the whole time. It was just up here. That'd be funny. But that's not the case. All right, so now that we let's test it out and see how it works. Freaking reminds me of Phantasm. Oh, you can do more than one. You can do more than one. Oh my God! What does a stealth strike do? Fire. Stealth strikes always explode in the maximum amount of bolt scales with enemies hit up to 16. That stealth strike. In comparison, I think our best weapon, the Epidemic Shredder, does 567, or the, or the that one. It does twice the amount. Oh my god! 
And look, look at how fast the stealth strike. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh man, I am so excited now. Oh man. I am so excited. 2000. 2000. Emotional damage. Um but the way I said 2000 reminded me of it. Alright, let's let's not do the cell strike for this one, let's just do loads and loads and loads of hits here. Alright, I'm already starting to I can only imagine how the consumable one works. So once we beat the solar the solar pillar one, we'll we'll try to take on the bosses again. Um I don't know if I should... The Ravenger would just get destroyed by this thing, I think. If the way it passes through like that. Do we have enough to beat it now? Seems like there's times where it takes forever for the force field to... the epidemic cutter too. Let's see. Look how fast that builds up. Oh my god. It builds up so freaking fast. Oh, I forgot the plague nades. Yeah, the plague nades work great too. Um, instead of trying to, let's let's craft some of those those other ones now. Let's make some more meld constructs here. Oh man, we can only make that. Oh, we didn't get that many more meld blobs. So let's see. Oh, that should last us. That should last us for quite a while. The subduction slice we made into anything? Yeah, the elemental disc. So that might be worth keeping. Alright, let's keep it then. Put that up there. Awesome. Alright, let's see. Let's see. If we can beat Ravager now. I wonder how these how well these work. Oh my god, they work fast. Alright, let's see. Almost already getting just just wrecked though is the thing. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't. Again, let's try to. This time we'll use the shards. Now I keep. 
every time with those freaking pillars, man. I swear, that I think that's what's hurting me the most of those freaking pillars. I don't freaking know, guys. I don't know. <sighs> but at any rate, I'm excited. I um, wonder what else you can do with it. Oh, we don't have any more milk constructs. But, uh... Off screen, I'll farm the rest of the uh, the pillars and everything, and and then we'll see what we can do in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye, everybody.